guys this is the continuation of the last video i made as i said uh, at the end of the video we really have to cover this area guys this is kind of heartbreaking for me to make this video and this was the most difficult research that i have done that we were totally ign ignorant of because the distraction created by the aliens after you watch this video you will know whom we are dealing with the deception is so high you will not believe it and that is the reason it took so long for us to uncover this but we will not stop in visual aesthetics we will go deeper into the real reason why this area became the most bombed place on planet earth guys and we didn't didn't have even a clue even in conspiracy people didn't cover it as much light it this place should get it so please watch this video to make sense of it all why southeast asia is a very very critical place for our ascension guys there is no ifs and buts we will go deeper into this completely into hyper dimension physics and end up with mmt why do you think they are using unleaded petrol it has to do with what they did to laos you have no idea what aliens are capable of just for your fun sake google mmt what it does to your body so please don't use unleaded petrol <laughs> it will take some time to for me to cover and reach till there but uh, this is all related if you think laos is thousands of miles away from your home you are mistaken the same aliens are putting mmt in your petrol guys if it is not banned then it is fluoride chlorine bromine everything is related to 7 and 19 so without wasting any time be ready to be blown away so this area there i don't know who create nobody actually knows who created this this is plain of jars guys you may not have heard about you may have heard about many places on earth like the pyramids or great wall of china or machu picchu or mexican you know uh, mayan pyramids etc but it overrides everything that is why this place is plain of jars the name itself is a dead giveaway plain so there were thousands and thousands of jars spread across an area in the south of laos which became the most bombed place in the world in the history of human race that itself is shocking and it was kept away from all of us including us conspiracy nutters and we didn't even research it that how secretive it was guys and this connects to everything that we are dealing with because this goes beyond earth and stars it reaches to the level of god actually that is why the aliens went bad shit crazy wait till you watch this video the plain of jars laos biggest mystery even now lot of people don't know but i will cover this on the shiang kuang plateau in central laos about 250 km southeast of luang prabang and about 350 km north of vientiane what's the big question superficial the plain of jars is what it says on the tin a vast area scattered with huge stone jars what these jars were built for exactly nobody knows we know it guys now this was to connect earth from hyperdimensional space i will cover this the hyperdimensional physics everything in uh, briefly in this video and the rest of it in my next video there is a calendar we can make out of it i made this but it will become i will clear in uh, in the later video although evidence support the theory that they were a sort of prehistoric tomb when were they built it is thought that the jars were built during the iron age however the archaeologists 
Nita has suggested that they could have been built as early as second millennium. The dates do go don't go for dates, guys, because we know it was built by benevolent aliens to lift Earth vibration up. So the dark forces have made sure that Earth stays as it is and our vibration remains lower, right? So how big are they? There are more than 90 jar sites scattered across hundreds of square kilometers. It's a huge place each containing from one to four hundred jars if this is so huge don't you think this should be on the bucket list of every backpacker you would hardly hear any backpacker visiting this it only became now apparent they visit temples and beaches in thailand phuket and all right who built them and why it, it is this mystery that makes Laos plane of jars so compelling and fascinating this is all good and dandy for us guys but the aliens ruling earth they know exactly they completely smithered this place so to make sure that we don't get the energy that earth was trying to draw it from hyper hyperspace what were they for so the archaeologist i'm just giving you a brief uh, outlook of what uh, they were u.s bombing and present condition during the vietnam war as i said you will come <laughs> to realize very so it was a charade guys vietnam war was just a drama the center was laos and the center of the center was this area because if they directly bombed a prehistoric site americans will grow crazy they will not support because they couldn't bomb this place for one or two days it has to be constantly bombed for over a decade every second every day like americans if they come to know no sane american would support even they started protesting vietnam war after years right but if they hear that america is going to bomb a prehistoric site where nobody lives but they simply want to bomb a <laughs> like you know ancient structure they will go crazy you know that is why it was kept so secretive actually but that was the biggest mission of american army aka dragon army during the vietnam war central laos was subject to one of the most intensive carpet bombing campaigns in his campaigns in history between 1964 and 1973 the usa dropped more bomb on the plane of jars than they did in the whole of world war ii please read this again this is crazy between 1964 and 1973 the usa dropped more bomb on the plane of jar than they did in the whole of world war three world war two and we were brainwashed with hitler right hitler and mao from china and and the, i forgot the name of the russian Stalin from Russia were the evil guys, right? And Mussolini from Italy. And Winston Churchill and all these Freemasons were the heroes. All BS guys, all charade. Everything happens for to, to make sure that they stop our evolution. Everything is physics, everything is conspiracy. I will play this video, hope, I really hope uh, they don't take this uh, video down because I am playing other uh channels but i will play it briefly i will post the links in the description so you can uh, watch this video uh, in the whole laos the most bombed country on earth though never at any time at war with laos and though technically and legally no such thing was occurring the u.s dropped more bombs on this relatively tiny neutral country than we dropped on germany and japan in all of world war ii did you hear that all of world war ii america went bad shit crazy why guys why america went bad shit crazy on a a country which nobody even heard of you know it's not even on a map people are nostalgic about vietnam but why laos that is how brainwashed they think we are they consider us as sheep even conspiracy are sheep on another level for aliens as we call mainstream sheep aliens call us sheep <laughs> actually because we didn't know this 
यू नो दे वेंट क्रेजी हियर अमेरिका सीक्रेट वॉर इन लावोस का अनकवर दिस इज काइंड ऑफ अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री Did you hear that for nine years, plain lot of bombs were dropped, twenty-four hours a day. Can you believe it? For nine years, billions of tons, guys. You cannot even scale that in your mind. That is why what alien do you think Hitler and humanly evil? That is why I am very scared of humanity. If they don't know the evil alien they are dealing with, they are extremely dangerous for humanity. They have no intention to free you. You see what they did to Laos, where nobody lives. The kind of bad shit craziness they did in Laos. Can you imagine what they will do to you? That is why I am telling you, wake up. <laughs> Over fifty thousand people were killed during that period, and after the last bombs were dropped in nineteen seventy-three, twenty thousand people have died since then. All the spots that was hit in Laos by the U.S. bombs. What does it feel like? As it's the top plane of jars. I know the sound may be less. Uh, like as you guys, I hope they don't take this video on copyright. That's why I'm playing the clips. So as she says, plane of jars were on the top of the list of U.S. bombing bad shit crazy campaign guys, and they gave a. cover story that there were rebels in there who in the right mind will stay fight in vietnam it's okay because there were jungles and forest where the so called rebels will hide why would rebels will hide in the plain of jars guys the name itself is a dead giveaway plain of ja plain there is nowhere to hide then why would america bomb this area is the question that we need to ask right they know what they are doing we need to find out as well in kwang area is the most massively bombed area in in all of us as you can see the entire laos if they wanted to kill humans they could bomb vientiane where it is the capital city of laos you know so they didn't bomb the people the target was not the people but there were collateral damage many people died but the intention For, to kill humans was irrelevant because the energies became so strong i can guarantee you if they didn't bomb this place the earth would have already shifted guys because i will tell you why they bombed this it goes into physics this is not an aesthetics visual channel guys we have to dig deep into the physics i will cover the physics i will relate this video into the physics part in my coming videos i just wanted to cover this quickly because this is very very critical for us traveling laos world's most bombed country in history <laughs> you see i was actually thinking it was germany or japan to be honest right we were made to fool that world war 2 or at least it was vietnam war right or india or pakistan war or like that from 1964 to 1973 the us dropped more than 2 million tons of ordinance 2 million tons is like 20 lakh hazar crore 20 lakh hazar crore kg of ordinance on laos during 580000 bombing missions this is how the brain of aliens are guy i cannot even feed this stats into my limited split brain left and right brain created by aliens can you imagine the scale of this guys 2 million tons of ordinance on laos during 580000 bombing mission equal to a plane load of bombs every 8 minutes 24 hours a day for 9 years making laos the most heavily bombed country per capita in history <laughs> this is bad shit crazy right he i will post the links for all this video you can watch it the most bombed country in the world how laos playground must be cleared up and even obama talks about a lot of things 
the united states flew nearly 600000 bombing missions over laos between 64 and 73 here he shows the as you can see cluster munition big bombs bombs dropped this area is south of laos is very very critical guys they know what they are doing we don't america secret war in laos between 1964 and 1973 more than 260 million explosive bomblets rained down on laos in 1968 a united nations advisor wrote that The intensity of the bombings was such that no organized life was possible in the villages. Travel plane of charge the giant of Asia plane of charge found on Laos so here also he made Laos the first of the most heavily bombed countries in history. As one Laotian said the bombs fell like rain. here obama giving his cover job but i will come to the main you know critical topic and research that we need to do it is just not the videos don't do justice guys it is pure physics why aliens went bat shit crazy on laos laos and the cia the most secret place on earth revisited this is a very good article uh, that uh, will put more uh, light on the things the aliens were doing behind the cover of what we know as vietnam war so this is the airport base from where they flew over 500000 plus uh, missions our destination the former cia air base of long chang between 1962-75 long chang became one of the busiest airports in the world and had a population of more than 50000 It was the heart of the secret war waged by the US against communist forces of Laos. Yet Long Chan was never marked on any map. Today Long Chan lies inside the Chiang Som Bin Special Zone, a restricted military area which is off limit to outsider. Even now you cannot visit it because they can kick start it at any time guys. Whenever earth vibration comes up, that is why they have the biggest and baddest <laughs> the bases in philippines and in southeast asia i will cover this uh, uh, the main important uh, topics on my journey through united states thailand and laos i met many former Uh, CIA agents, U.S. pilots, aid workers, among fighter journalists, and who told me of their times in Laos in the 60s and 70s. By making a film about Long Chang, one once the biggest secret site of the CIA, I wanted to shed some light on the dark chapter of the America's involvement in Indochina. As I can say, Southeast Asia, guys, the entire CIA, I feel, was created to destroy Southeast Asia, the Atlantis, actually. but this is not the only tragedy this small landlocked southeast asian country had to suffer in its recent past laos was the victim of the biggest air war in history making it the most bombed country on planet per capita with 2.1 million tons of bombs more than the entire payload dropped on germany japan and the pacific theater combined during world war 2 This is what conspiracy and aliens is all about guys. I cannot get past this line itself. This is what our conspiracy our worth is. That is how they control the media and how they brainwashed us guys. We just don't know what's happening on earth anymore. We are stupid for them. We are irrelevant guys. what's more most of the bombs were dropped in secret during the war even the name of the country in which it took place was classified and referred to as other theater that is why americans knew nothing about it 
For five years, Congress and the American people knew nothing of their government's executive branch of doing because everything is controlled by aliens in America, guys. There is no such thing as America made by American people for the government by the government. It's an alien territory. But our brain is so shrinked, our brain cannot fathom the bigger scale of things they can do with America. Because even Americans were killed. I will come to it in this war. When it was finally revealed in 1971, the two consecutive presidents, the State Department, the CIA, the Air Force had been waging a massive air war in country next to Vietnam. A country which most Americans had never heard of. The news was overshadowed by Nixon's illegal bombing of Cambodia and US death souls in South Vietnam. Because they need to... The reason that Cambodia war and the South Vietnam, you know, it had to be extended because the energies of Laos in Plain of Jars was so strong. They need to bomb it continuously, guys, for nine years, a decade. Otherwise, the energy will override it. They know what they are doing. We don't. We'll cover that uh, more the main topic. You can read it. I will put uh, this. Uh, Ever since Long Chang was built, the air base has been off limit to the outside world. For a period in history, it was the most secret place on earth. Read this again, guys. It is not Denver uh, underground base or uh, in uh, uh, Vegas S4 or uh, Area 51. That is there, but there is the many other bases that are off limits to us conspiracy nutters that we should be aware of. Longchan was the physical heart of the biggest corporate covert operation the CIA has ever conducted. Read this again, guys. That is all the footprints of aliens. Long Chan was physical heart of the largest covert operation the CIA has ever conducted. And we know where this is. Southeast Asia. It is the energy from Earth, guys. Fire. Agni Kone in Vastu, as they tell. It's a very powerful place. You can read this. The one grandmother involuntary mimicking a weapons buff tells me of T-29 training bombers, supersonic F-4 phantom jets, cluster bomb, naphilim 500 pound bombs, 750 pound bombs and the ultimate horror B-52 arc light strikes. You cannot hear the bombers but suddenly the whole world around you explodes. At first, we didn't even know who was doing this to us, where they were coming from and why they wanted to kill us. As you can see, they don't even consider humans as humans, guys. They gave a cover story about rebels and communism. It's all BS. It has everything to do with our spirituality and ascension, guys. Everything, not 99%, 100%. Rest all is BS, cover story. Why they want to kill innocent people who don't even know what, where, what, what is happening, you know. They just simply boomed the place. And then Kennedy came. Everything is, you know. Even this AK-47 comes to 19.47, guys. I will cover this here. Air America, at the time the biggest commercial airline in the world was officially running the aid mission in Laos, was secretly owned by the CIA, a fact no unknown at the time. Working closely with Wang Pao, Air America provided the rice and weapons drop for the Hmong villages across Laos and flew soldiers of the secret CIA, CIA or soldiers of the CIA secret army into the battle. And they even recruited 30,000 Thai mercenaries were flown into Laos by the CIA. Uh, 
here but the thing is many americans were also killed but not many know actually there were a lot of americans who were also murdered during the bombing campaign here it deadly like it cias covert laws were in by january 1961 eisenhower had warned his successor john f kennedy that laws was the most pressing foreign policy issue in the world and he had initiated operation momentum in laws for the cia to train a small arm of small forces of hong tricemen to fight the communist pathat lao and their north vietnamese support this is all a cover story because when you read down the line they tell them that they are our own people this hong tricemen why would they kill their own people right they just create a uh, cover story over the year more bombs were dropped in laos than were dropped on japan and germany during world war 2 by the end of vietnam war some 200000 laotians both civilians and military had been killed some 700 americans mostly cia officers contractors and us military also died in laos conflict the post 911 war on terror replicates the laos war in other critical ways cia activities are totally unwatched by the public and the media the strategies used to keep most of the war on terror secret would have been completely familiar to the cia operatives running the laos war this is all cover story guys it has not ended but why i will come to the physics but now you already know but why plane of jars guys because it is 19.43 longitude as i said 77 19 nineteen is a very very critical number that is why they showed covid 19 right 2019 is started here it comes the this area has the most powerful spiritual energy so some aliens or some beings or our ancestors kept that energy to be sucked into the earth so that we can get this energy and we can evolve but the dark forces want to keep this earth on in a darker you know realm they don't want more lights to come guys there is lot to it than we know than we were told in our history books so here 19.5 mn hyperdimensional physics here longitude 19.43 but out of all the 19 This is the most important place actually. There are many sites as you can see. Richard C. Hoagland. I will cover this in a more elaborate in next video guys. I just wanted to give you a brief outlook on what aliens <laughs> know that we don't know. Right. And they have the means to achieve it. And we are still struggling to pay our bills. Right. Richard C Hoagland retired NASA engineer suggest an intrinsically changing physics affecting every known system of astronomical physical chemical and biological interaction differently over time because it affects the underlying dynamical hyperspace foundation of physical reality itself but and now according to all accumulating evidence and this century sold physics we are simply entering once again a phase of this recurring grand solar system cycle here one if one ascribe inscribe within a sphere a tetrahedron with one point of the tetrahedron at the pole of the sphere then the other three points of the tetrahedron will lie at 120 degree intervals along a latitude of 19.47 it's pure physics that is why most of the temples and monuments are at 19.47 latitude guys like mona lisa in hawaii ija kutal and popa ki kutal volcano in mexico even in mars many people will know but it it you can tap into the zero point energy in these areas the significance of this hypothetical inscribed tetrahedron is due to the somewhat esoteric belief that this geometrical anomaly may be connecting with other dimensions it is true guys you can even time travel it is ninava constant it's very very powerful number 19.5 degrees north and south sun spot activity and the region of peak temperature is limited to 19.5 degrees north and south 
you see everywhere the it is a universal number on venus the presumably active major volcano complex alpha and beta regio are near 19.4 on earth mauna loa mexico city yucatan peninsula georgetown cayman island uh, mount imoco sea africa mount kalsubai near bombay here mount near shiung laos this is the most important out of all this yasur volcano mount shamul on mars olympus moon shield on jupiter the red spots on neptune it goes and on and on guys 19.5 degrees is the angle that's been found by researchers to be re- repeatedly encoded in the structures of sidon and sidonia it is viewed as a definite signal in the noise some kind of message left by some intelligence it is a tetrahedral constant but there is lot to it that we can use it for our own life right just by reading this won't cover but i want to take you to i am building up to something that we can use it but we need to cover this ground so i'll post the links please go through all this on the dollar bill as i said <laughs> southeast asia 19.47 everything is connected guys on the dollar bill the great seal of the united states of america displays 12 levels of pyramid from 1776 foundation level a perfect 33 degree of an hour has 19.47 seconds right 33 degree freemasons 33 into 60 19.88 into 47 accordingly each level of pyramid represents a generation of 19.47 years 12 into 19.2 33 years if you use may 1st 1776 founding of america right as the state date of the countdown you begin to see temporal destiny unfold before your eyes in 1776 there were 31 days in january he goes into a depth of mathematics very interesting actually may 1st 1776 was chosen for more than one reason as a founding date so now we calculate the exact end date of the capstone to crown the pyramid drum roll 1776.33 plus 233 2009.97 so it, it goes on on and explains it beautifully why everything in america revolves around 19 here this is a nasim arimans so i want to cover this one more thing before i delve deep into this here us presidential inauguration a masonic ritual not a ceremony did you know the us presidential inauguration everything revolves around 19.5 degree before a us president can enter on the execution of the office of presidency he must take an oath or affirmation this ritual is conducted by the chief justice on 20th day of january just before noon where in exactly 19.5 days into the new solar year this i made a calendar guys i will i i, I will uh, show that calendar to you based on 19 that is the actually the real calendar what's more no chief justice has ever missed an inauguration day in us history so 19.5 and 20th is very very critical 19.5 it's ninava constant but it goes way way beyond guys we are just scratching aliens are using this on us actually we need to keep up this is nothing special to be honest this is a kindergarten stuff we need to build something on it just by telling you this what's good it's gonna do to you right so i am just in this video in the next video i will show you what we can actually do with this right you see 19 tetrahedron 4 that is why thursday is very critical four center tetrahedron triangle pyramid it all comes into center the light you know from this you can jump into another light i will cover this Uh, later so yeah guys this is the quick video i wanted to make why they bombed lavos into smithereens why it was the most boom place on earth and people didn't even know forget about people we in conspiracy didn't even know and how it's connected to everything in our life guys so yeah guys this is the quick video i made i will uh, cover more this is a built up to the more things in physics that i am going to tell in my next videos Thanks.